on different other sources maps and then you build uh, your your application based on the what type of maps of course the google have google maps has some restriction you cannot do more hits with the google maps in that case you need if enterprise application if you need more hits into the maps then you need to be get the google license from the google and then you can do how much you can do with that one so here's the important part you need to be careful i will show you detail when i did it development so it's a foxy configuration because if we are living in microservices if you have a let's say we have a 10 or 20 microservices then you need to be every microservices install maybe different machine in different part of the world maybe one one microservice install in the, in bangladesh or maybe one microservice install in the in, in india or pakistan even though in germany or spain or or, or USA or Canada, depending where is it, uh, we don't care. Maybe microservice in the in the Amazon, maybe microservice from the PayPal or microservice from the from the Google. So it depend. But these two microservices, you need to communicate or to to integrate your application those microservices. For our case, at the moment, we have a microservice for user management, you plot registration, build registration, and so on so forth. For the in reality. There's a lot of applications. They have a really in total 10 or 15 microservice combination to build our enterprise application. So that means you need to be set your foxes, then foxes communicate your real microservice and foxes give it to you, the, the Angular application to the communicate with the services. So you're back and forth. That's the idea. So you need to be careful how we need to be. I will show you how you can set the foxy and then how the Fox communication done by the by the both side, the client side and server side. So, so there is there is solutions. It's a lot of you can go to the Google it and find it from their solution. But that I, in, the, in the end of the day, when I did start the development, you can I can show you how it is done. So here's the one of the one of the configuration the Fox configuration. So we are is a enter the Angular. Angular TypeScript based application, web applications. So we have three applications, maybe, or the comp these three, maybe three components. This one component, this one component, this is one components, and then these two components make a one together make a web application. So you see that the Foxy is defined here: user management, plot registration, building registration, user uh, map service registration. This is a Foxy setup. And this is the, all the machines, all the services located in different machines in different part of the world. So it's this service is located machine X with this port, machine Y with this port, and machine Z this port, and machine K with this port. But these the four services you need to be uh, foxy. You, you see, you need to configure your foxy and the foxy setup now to call the services to the your Angular application. You, I mean, the your front end technology, front end your GUI part, the most important. Just just Google it and find, get more more ideas. Out. But I will show you how, how it's done. This is the very rough idea how the microservice, the microservice communication via the Foxy setup and the Foxy give it to you back and forth into the to the application, to the your data set from the backend to the front end. So here is how to Foxy setup. You can, if you haven't, if you don't like to set up the Foxy, then when you try to implement the Java based or Spring Boot based microservices, does does you give it text addition or notation the uh, C O R S S yeah, C O R S cross and the back to back uh, back end to back end communication. So then then in that case you don't need to be set up your the foxes. It's that directly communicating the the support of the uh, JavaScript or, or any JavaScript based framework, you can call the your microservices. But in the professional life, be careful. In professional life, there is no no use cases for the in the in the in the uh, in the in the in the C O R S. But in the many use cases, enterprise application every time is running based on the Foxy setup because Foxy has a the privilege issues, authentication issues, authorization issues, and this is the professional way. So be consented and, uh, to set up the how the configuration, Foxy configuration done, and this is the need to be learned really professional way. So, so here how the how the CLI uh, the development server Foxy setup. So is I, I did it here the, the my Foxy located maybe local host maybe local machines, and this is the 
and that is the, the, the proxy is called API. So when you are in somewhere in the API, then you go to the endpoints, then service is calling. That means that every, every uh, the proxy gives the root URL and go to the, your endpoints where the service, which service is with the combination of the input parameter, output parameter, give it to you, the, the proxies. Basically, here is the one of the example how the proxy and where the you need to configure is a proxy dot config dot JSON files in the Angular Angular projects. You see that I said the proxy is API, and then this is the URL uh, the the target, and then I said okay, I said okay, this is my URL. If I go to the API somewhere, then it's automatically goes to the targets, and this is one of the example need to be updated. Uh, Back at the JSON uh, to 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 set up the proxy because where the proxy configuration in look look like because the package of JSON reading the proxy setup from the your your proxy dot config dot JSON file. So you need to be understand the, uh, the clearly how the communication how the, the settings the configuration settings done. Uh, but I will show you how when the, I did the start developments the configurations the CLI and Angular JSON and then see the, the how the setup here. See, one of the most example, two examples, that's what I need to make a plan. So you see, the proxy setup, the user registration services, and this is the local host number 8887, and this is another geospatial services in the local host 9005. Uh, 9005, and this is the one. So that means in the in the front end, that you set this prefix, the URL, geospatial services goes to the these endpoints and target endpoints, then this works automatically. So it's designed a little bit more because path overwriting, that means you see the path overwriting part, path overwriting part, that means when you are here, the override the path of the of the your root URL. So changing origin and then log level and bypass the your your your, your foxy configuration instead of this these things. So. so then if you if if I have a have a web applications based on the Angular and TypeScript, but now we need to be deploy the application in different environments. This, this is the most important part. Basically, in the in the big companies, they have some like they have some installation team or IT team. So as a developing team, developer, the lead of the developer, he prepare the developments and then he build the versions and the development versions and then say, okay, here is our files. As like in Java world, as a jar file, you, if you stand alone jar files, you have to give it to jar files and give it to them. Okay, here is jar files. Here is the, your, your the application dot properties files or depending which environment you are trying to. And you change the, the your database name and the application automatically is done. So you 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 packed it your your source code your application as jar files and deploy and send to them that installation team or IT team please install the thousands of machines that's all that's their job if you are a small company then you are responsible so you need to be install your application to the client machines doesn't matter is it 15 client machines or one client machine or two client machine even though if you have the development development is done then you need to be in in, in the intermediate staging stage staging environment the test environment then you 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 need to pack your applications and deploy to the application to the other machines in the other 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 environments like test environment uh, even though you have you have a release environments and then that's uh, the development life cycle or your release life cycle will run this way development environment need to be installed Test department, test, test, test environment need to be installed and released, installed and production. End of the day, they get the client machines and installation machines. So that's the things. It depend how you works. But in the in the small company or the middle sized company, they work like this way. You are the developer. You are responsible to from development to up to the up to the deployment. Deployment means into the client machines, and then. Even though some small company they have the support as a developer, you need to support them, the clients. That's the idea. But I will show you how this is the when a Angular application is done, the development is done, how we packed it, and how can you install uh, those applications into the different environments. And and this is the one of the difficult part of the many developer. Even though many developer means who have who have developing 10 years and then you don't know how the deployment is works. And that's I try to give it to you some ideas how it works every day, our lives. 
So here's the, some more detail, how, how, how can you deploy your Angular applications? Mm, and then you, uh, you can, even though, even though you can deploy the, your Angular application to the, to the local disks and then deploy the, deploy the application, you build the, your, your application as a production build and then copy the all necessary files and configuration to the, you, know, you see the disk folder, I will show you the disk folder and then index.html file, then the, the installation team, or you can go there, these machines, and install the, your, 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 your packet or your, your resources or your application. Even though you can get GitHub pages, you deploy the, you build your application and deploy the application in GitHub pages, and then it's open automatically from the Git, GitHub, GitHub projects as a GitHub page. And you start can do do this one because this is a really Angular and TypeScript application. It's a really very very lightweight applications. It's not a Java based application, but Java need really more memories and a lot of things need to do. But this is the browser level. I mean the browser portable level Angular. It's a JavaScript. Simply it is JavaScript. End of the day, it is JavaScript. So browser is capable. So you need a really simple setup to install the applications. Even though as a professional life, what we did. And like just build a your Docker image, and then uh, as as a, and and copy as a, you can build a Docker image from the Windows or Linux, so that doesn't matter which operating system you are, and in just copy your image and install the image. What where you try to install doesn't matter is OS in the Windows OS or is it Linux US or Mac US doesn't matter. Just build the image and copy this image to the respective Docker container and start the application. It works. But I will show you. This is the automatic deployment with the CLI. You see the, the possibility the they have Azure and there's a fire Firebase hosting and now there's a net net Leafy and then GitHub pages that I already discussed about that one. The possibility where you can when the development is done, where you can what's the possibility to deploy the application to the to the client machines. So in the professional life, it looks like you build your applications as a, as a Docker container with maybe the, 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 the company has the Kubernetes, the uh, application Kubernetes installed there and the, with Docker images and then you, you build your images and give it to them, the installation team or you are responsible, you go, go there, the Docker, Docker image with there and then push the Docker image to the Docker container and start their applications. That's that's the professional way to do. Here's some some example how request response is done, and the, finally I will I will say thank you. Just just follow the my channels, and I I will try my best to to what I have with my professional lives into the into the in the very beginning level to the professional level means from the development levels and all step of the of the development even though in the deployment stage even though in the support level so just follow my channels and 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 write down the and subscribe maybe subscribe the possibility write down your your commands and share our knowledge and and maybe that's this is the big uh, big issues to to get your ideas and my ideas come up the good solution and thank you and bye bye bye